There are three important properties of derivatives to discuss. Number one is that the derivative of any constant is just equal to zero. Now, why is this? If you think of a constant as a function, y equals c, then you can think of that function as a horizontal line. For example, consider this horizontal line, y equals five, because we're taking the derivative of some function. So if c is a constant, then our function is also a constant. And the graph of a constant function is a horizontal line. Now remember that the derivative is defined as the slope of the function at any point. Well, what is the slope of any horizontal line? The answer is zero, always. At any point on this horizontal line, the slope is gonna be zero. And that's why the slope of a constant or the derivative of a constant is just zero. Number two says that if C is a constant and f is a differentiable function, then the derivative of c times f is c times the derivative of f. What this means is, if we have the derivative of, let's say, 5 times x squared, we could pull the 5 out of the derivative and then just take the derivative of x squared. So we can remove constants from the actual derivative itself. And in that way, we can simplify the problem at hand. Number three says that if f and g are both differentiable, then the derivative of f plus g is just f prime plus g prime. This comes in really handy for, for example, polynomials, where you could have x squared plus 3x minus 2. If you, if you took the derivative of x squared plus 3x minus 2, that's just the derivative of x squared plus the derivative of 3x plus the derivative of negative 2. And so using these three properties of derivatives, we can take the derivative of any function as long as we know some more rules.